वेलकम बैक टू पब्लिक कम आई शो यू हाउ दिस ऑटोमेशन इज गोइंग टू रन सो लेट्स से आई एम गोइंग टू मैसेज आई वांट टू इमेज फॉर एन एआई मार्केटिंग एड इट शुड शो अ रोबोट एंड अ ह्यूमन वर्किंग टुगेदर ऑन डिजिटल स्क्रीन्स सो आई एम रनिंग अ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एजेंसी एंड टू जनरेट द क्रिएटिव्स वी नीड इमेजेस एंड टू जनरेट दीस इमेजेस आई यूज दिस अमेजिंग ऑटोमेशन सो लेट्स से आई वांट दिस इमेज सो आई सिंपली सेंड दिस मैसेज एंड यू गोइंग टू सी विद इन सेकंड्स एंड इन रियल टाइम इट हैज generated me the image which you can see is exactly the same like the text i've entered over here and again to see over here is the image i can also download this and use it for my own digital marketing agency so yes this is no magic this is the power of telegram bot which we're going to learn in today's video and if you also wish to create this amazing telegram bot for your own business then watch this tutorial till the end so to do this open a new tab and after you open a new tab search for p a b b l y.com/connect in your browser and open the learning page of public connect after opening the learning page of public connect you're going to see two options one is sign in and the other one is sign up for free so if you are a new user you can click on the sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month this means that you can create this amazing automation and try it for free and yes over here if you are an existing user like me directly click on the sign in and once you click on the sign in this all bubbly apps is going to to open so go to with this public connect and click on this access now because using public connect only we're going to create this telegram bot now we have to click on this create workflow it is asking you to select the workflow builder so you can select any one from this i'm going to select this new workflow builder i'm going to enter the workflow name and select the folder in which i want to save my workflow so if you also wish to create a new folder go on this create new folder button and create your own after entering all of these details click on this create and your workflow will get started and it is going to open the most important window of your automation which is your workflow window so this is the most important window of our automation because we have trigger and action in this trigger and actions are the two main principles on which our workflow is going to run trigger means when this happens and action means do this so by this you can understand that the trigger starts the process and the actions are results towards the same so to get started we first have to set up our trigger so click on this add trigger button for the trigger application search for telegram so i'm going to search for telegram and select telegram bot now for the event we have to select it as set web book slash watch updates and click on this connect now if you have already created a connection between telegram and public connect click on the select existing connection and then save but if you haven't follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the token and to get this token you just have to follow me step by step and listen very carefully first of all open your telegram account after you open this account you have to search for bot father and once you search for bot father open bot father Father and click on this start button over here. Once you click on the start button, a message something like this will come. So go towards this create a new bot, which is slash new bot, and click on this. Once you click on this, it is saying all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? So I'm going to keep the name as image bot. All right. So I'm just going to type image bot and I'm going to send it. All right. Now it is asking me to choose a username for my bot. So I'm going to keep the username as image pavli tutes underscore bot. And it is very important that you mention this. Underscore bot at the end of the username, otherwise the bot will not be created. After entering this username, click on this send, and this message is sent. And as you can see, the bot has been created. And over here, we have received this token. All right, so this was the token we wished for. So copy this token and paste it right over here in your workflow. After pasting this token, click on this save, and your Telegram bot account will be connected with Public Connect. And after creating this connection, we have to click on this save and send test request. But before we click on this save and send test request, we have have to do few things what we have to do is we have to open our telegram and you're going to see that this is the bot username so copy this bot username and open the group or the channel in which you wish to add this bot because using this bot only we're going to generate the images or the answers so what we have to do is we have to go towards this members and click on this add user after clicking on this add user you have to type the bot username select it and click on this button and you're going to see this bot has been added right over here but not only adding this bot but you have to make sure that you give this bot the admin access and to do this you have to use your telegram mobile application so using my telegram mobile application i am going to give this bot the admin access all right so let's open my group in my mobile phone and now i'm going to give this bot the admin access so as you can see i have successfully given this bot the admin access after giving the admin access you're going to see it is updated right over here too now after we complete all of this 
what we have to do is now we have to click on this save and send test request and after clicking on the save and send test request it is saying waiting for webhook response so in order to capture this webhook response you have to request for an image over here so let's say i want a image of kids playing in a park so i'm going to type i want a image of kids playing in a park so as you can see that I've entered this message and I'm going to send this message. So I've used a test message. You can generate any another image which you wish. And after sending this message, let's go back towards Pabli Connect. And we're going to see that Pabli has captured the same response. I want an image of kids playing in a park. So as you can see, we have successfully captured this message. And now what we're going to do is using our AI, which is open AI, we're going to generate the image and then we're going to send this image back towards our channel. All right, so to do this, I'm going to click on this add new action step for the action application search for open ai so i'm going to use open ai in order to generate images you can use any another application too now what we have to do is for the event we have to search for generate image and select this generate image dali and click on this connect now if you have already created a connection between open ai and public connect so click on this select existing connection and then save but if you haven't follow me click on add a new connection once again it is asking me for the token so to get this token open your open ai api key page you're going to get the link right over here so click on this link and your api key page is going to open now go towards this create new secret key you can enter your key name select the project and click on this create secret key button your key will be created so copy this key and paste it right over here in this token section and click on this save after you click on this save you can see that the open air account is connected with public connect now you have to select the models i'm going to select it as dali 3 if you wish you can definitely select it as dal e22 now it is asking me for the prompt so over here we have to enter the prompt which is this which is message text all right so if you wish you can definitely add some prompt over here but we are not going to enter it manually by typing it like this but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by Pabli, which means inserting the data from the previous step and when we insert the data from the previous step automatically our data becomes dynamic and change with every new response received so let's say if your team directly types image of kids playing so what you can do is you can prefix some sentence over here like image of or something like that before you map this text otherwise if your team is going to type the whole sentence which is i want an image of kids playing in the park then you can keep the prompt as it is you can directly map it and move on further it totally depends upon you how you're going to ask the questions to generate the image you can customize the prompt according to that now the next is this number of image to be generated so only a single so i'm going to keep it as one for the size i'm going to keep it as 1024 into 1024 now for the quality i'm going to keep it as hd you can keep it as according to your choice for the style if you wish you can definitely mention these styles like natural style vivid or something like that i'm going to leave it as blank because if i want some specific styles i'm just going to directly type it on my telegram channel like generate the image with this type of style of kids playing or something like that all right so now after doing all of this we have to click on this save and send test request and once we click on this save and send test request it is going to generate me the image so we just have to wait for a few seconds till it is generating me the image once again i'm just going to let you know that i've entered the prompt and this text as an example you can use any another of your choice too so yes you can see that now we have successfully received the response over as the prompt it has revised the prompt and also going to see that we have received this url which is our image so let's open this image first and see how this image looks like so i'm going to open it in a new tab and as you can see that this is the image which we have received all right so now i'm just going to send this image on my telegram channel so let's close this and we're going to click on this add new action step once again for the action application i'm going to search for telegram so let's search for telegram and select telegram bot for the event we have to select it as send a photo and click on this connect now we have recently created a connection between telegram bot and public connect so i'm going to click on this select existing connection and then save because i want to connect the same bot all right now it is asking me for the chat id so to get this chat id you first have to open your telegram account and over here in the url you can get this this chat id first of all make sure that you are on this a version so you're going to see this web.telegram.org slash a if you get this a then only you can open the group or the channel in which you want to reply and then copy this number after this hashtag but if you are in a k version you have to go towards this menu then you have to go towards this switch to a version option you will receive right over here after doing this you have to copy this number with this hyphen 2 which is after this hashtag 
hashtag and paste it as the chat id over here and after pasting this you can move on further it is asking me for the caption so what you can do is with the image you can add the caption like okay here's the image so let's say if you wish you can definitely type the caption over here if you wish you can keep it as static otherwise using open here you can also generate the captions too i'm going to leave it as blank because this is not required for the url i'm going to simply enter the image so as you can see that this is the image which i want to post so i've entered this now for the parse mode if you enter the caption select it as markdown or, or html according to your own choice it is saying disable notifications so i'm going to keep it as no if you wish you can definitely keep it as yes to right over here after doing all of this you have to click on the save and send test request and once you click on the save and send test request you need to receive a positive response that this image has been sent towards that telegram group all right so let's open our telegram group and you're going to see that the same image is over here not only this let's say i want a image of a single kid playing in a park and i'm going to send this so within seconds it is going to generate me the image of a single kid playing in a park so we just have to wait for a few seconds and like i showed you in the starting of this video that within seconds and in real time it is going to generate the image and further that image will be shared right over here as the reply so we just have to wait for a few seconds till it is sharing me the image and you're going to see within seconds and in real time it has shared me the image you're going to see over there is a single kid playing in a park and yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow now whenever we are going to send any message right over here in this chat automatically the workflow is going to trigger because that same text will be sent towards our workflow further Pabli is going to capture that and then send it towards OpenAI to generate the image once we generate the image we're going to send it as a reply back again to this group and within seconds this automation is going to work and we don't have to come back and again to our workflow to click on save and send test request we just have to sit back and relax so yes now go try this amazing automation for your own business too because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli Connect and while trying if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video see you in the next video with many more automation tips everyone till then if you wish you can use my workflow for that i'm going to attach the workflow url in the description box below you can check out my workflow thank you for watching so not only these applications but with the help of Pabli connect you can connect many more applications and now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the rate pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this url and now go try this amazing automation for your own business too because right now we are offering a free trial of Pabli connect